There was something else the president revealed today, a military concession that the U.S. will halt joint military exercises with South Korea. And that came as a surprise to the South. The president describing those exercises the way North Korea does as a, quote, provocation. ABC's Bob Woodruff tonight reporting from Seoul where they were not expecting this. Shortly after saying goodbye to Kim Jong-un, President Trump phoning up the leader of South Korea, President Moon Jae-in playing a major role in the summit. For his people tonight, so much at stake. Moon saying the talk set a solid foundation for peace. But South Korea was surprised by President Trump's announcement the U.S. will be ceasing their joint military drills. We will be stopping the war games, which will save us a tremendous amount of money. Plus, I think it's very provocative. In August, more than 17,000 American troops are set to practice warding off a North Korean attack. The South Korean Defense Ministry seemed caught off guard by today's announcement, saying there was a need to discern the exact meaning and intent of President Trump's comments. The president's taking a bit of a risk by halting the U.S.-South Korean military exercises. But these exercises can be turned on very quickly if the North does not continue to show progress. As for the military drills, a spokesman for Defense Secretary James Mattis says that he was consulted ahead of time, but so far U.S. commanders in South Korea have received no orders to cancel them. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.